How to check your blood glucose. Adapted from information obtained from the ADA, which can be viewed at the following website. How to check your blood glucose. Blood glucose monitoring is how you can figure out if your blood glucose levels are within your target range. This tells you your blood glucose level at any one time. It is important to keep a log by writing down your results. When you bring your log to your healthcare provider, you'll have a good picture of your body's response to your diabetes care plan. How do I check? People with diabetes check their blood glucose levels by poking their fingertips and using a blood glucose meter or a continuous glucose monitor or CGM to measure the blood glucose level at that moment. How to use a blood glucose meter. All meters are slightly different, so always refer to your user's manual for specific instructions. After washing your hands, insert a test strip into your meter. Use your lancing device on the side of your fingertip to get a drop of blood. Touch and hold the edge of the test strip to the drop of blood and wait for the result. Your blood glucose level will appear on the meter's display. With some meters, you can also use your forearm, thigh, or fleshy part of your hand. There are spring-loaded lancing devices that make sticking yourself less painful. If you use your fingertip, stick the side of your fingertip by your fingernail to avoid having sore spots on the frequently used part of your finger. What are the target ranges? Your specific glycemic goals will be based on your age and health. But the American Diabetes Association suggests the following targets for most non-pregnant adults with diabetes. A1C less than 7%. A1C may also be reported as EAG, less than 154 milligrams per deciliter. Before a meal, 80 to 130 milligrams per deciliter, and one to two hours after beginning of the meal, less than 180 milligrams per deciliter. What do my results mean? When you finish the blood glucose check, write down your results and what may have affected them, such as the food you've eaten, how active or inactive you have been, and your level of stress. Look at your blood glucose record to see if your level is too high or too low several days in a row, at about the same time of day. If the same thing keeps happening, it might be time to call your doctor and change your diabetes care plan. Work with your doctor or diabetes educator to learn what your results mean for you. It can take time to get your diabetes care plan just right and ask your doctor if you should let them know when the results of your glucose check are out of a certain range right away. Blood glucose results can trigger your emotions. You may feel upset,
confused, frustrated, angry, or sad. Don't judge yourself. Remember that you're tracking your blood glucose level so you can know how well your diabetes care plan is working and whether that plan needs to change. Glucose monitoring is essential for diagnosis and treatment of both hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. In the next video, you will learn about hyper and hypoglycemia.